The MIDI Filter 10 Pack is the follow-up to the hugely popular Chance 10, created by LDM Design. It's a pack of 10 Max for Live devices for Ableton Live that are designed to filter, route, and trigger MIDI around your live set. The MF Note device shown here will filter according to the notes set on the display. In line with the other devices in the set, this device also includes parameter triggering. So we can use the MIDI notes that pass through to trigger parameters elsewhere in the live set. Here in this demo, we show how you can block specific notes and then invert the routing to only allow the selected notes. You can use the filtered MIDI to trigger parameter changes. In this case, we're triggering the parameter send B. And we can use the filtered notes to still change the parameter, yet allow all of the MIDI to pass through. The MF doubler shown here will trigger a second note from the note off message. The note length can be set and velocity can be set relative to the original note. This particular sound has glide, so longer notes start to overlap and bend. The velocity is changed relative to the original note velocity. And the created notes can be used to trigger parameter changes. These changes are set with the AD envelope and range slider. A MIDI through will stop changes to the original notes, but keep the parameter triggering. MF following will only allow through a single MIDI note, which follows a specific sequence of notes. The sequence can be from one to three notes in length. For example, you could set it so that when E3, then B3, then G3 come through, then the next note will pass through the device. This can be very useful if the number of notes might change within any sequence, but perhaps a fourth bar will finish differently. So that can be an indicator of the first note of the next sequence. The sequence of notes used to trigger can also be recorded directly into the device instead of using the knobs. MF note range that will filter the MIDI notes based on the pitch. This can be set to allow or block a specific range of MIDI values or even a single value. You can then use the MIDI that's filtered to modulate a parameter within Live for even more creative results. One of my favorite devices from the 10 included in the pack is this one. MF Paramaster. Here, incoming MIDI notes are used to trigger increments in parameter changes. The number of notes used to go through the whole sequence can be set from the number box. You can even set the parameter to move up in a curve so to get some exponential increases. The device can go forwards and loop, or it can be set to palindrome mode, where once the maximum is reached, it will go in reverse and loop like that. And that's just the first five devices of the MIDI Filter 10 pack from LDM Design. Available now at isotonicstudios.com.